Hey everyone, um, I just wanted to just alert you to the fact that um, I have a new poll um, on my community section of my channel, on my community tab, and the reason why I'm advertising with this. Now, if, you know, because, you know, remember back in October, um, I know, I'm sure that many of you are aware that YouTube decided to unlock or roll out this community tab feature, which is a feature that you use to gain a following, grow a following. And you can do so through written posts, posts with images or GIFs, um, which are like animated images. Um, I've created a couple of those, um, and maybe I'll show how I did that on another video. But you can also create um, polls, both image polls and text polls. Um, so you can you know, really do a lot with this feature. And I would not be advertising for this if I would receive this feature based off of the channel eligibility of my channel, based off of how many subscribers that I have, because there are aspects to YouTube's policies um, guideline. Well, not necessarily poli policies, but sort of the privileges that they give you. Like, you get this feature when you gain a certain number of followers. I just really disagree with that philosophy, and I just don't see the logic in it, um, you know, at all, really. So, you know, but um, that's my own um, opinion. I think that everyone should have all the features you know, maybe monetization is, you know, maybe a little different um, and actually make that eligible for people of a certain age or something like that. But, um, you know, other than that, um, I really, you know, don't see the logic in that. And I mean, I could go on talking about, you know, I could go on a rant about this um, because I've spoken about it multiple times before, and I'm not going to continue to speak about it. The only reason why I'm making this video is to just, you know, show you this poll that just came out on my channel. Now, I don't want to be somebody who, um, you know, just sort of, you know, rubs it into somebody's face what I have and they don't. Um... And so um, I'm doing this because this is a feature that was available to me um, because my channel has channel history and um, I did get, you know, my phone number verified. And so um, it's a much better, you know, way of, you know, means of getting access to this as opposed to in the past is much more fair and equal um, equal and horizontal, uh, I want to say like this. It's not top-down where some people have it and some people don't. Some people are above others because of their following, um, because they have more following than other channels. And so they then get this feature. Um, so they have changed that because in the past, you need to have either 500 subscribers or a thousand subscribers to um, receive this, um, you know, get access to this. But now um, things have changed, fortunately. And now, um, you know, YouTube has um, rolled out the feature and it has become available for many more channels, including mine. So, Anyway, that's all, um, you know, of an introduction that I want to give about that. Um, but I do want to show you this poll here. Um, let me just share my screen. So, you know, this is a poll that just came out and it asks, which general astrology series would be most interesting and informative for you? Um, um, to watch. Um, so, you know, your options are Mercury through the signs, so all the Mercury placements. Um, this is only through the signs, this is not through the astrological houses. 
1 through 12. And remember that the astrological houses are the areas of life. So you have a planet and a certain sign, and then you're talking about a house um, placement, which is where it would show up. Um, I'm not talking about that. So um, Mercury through the signs, Mars through the signs, Saturn placements in the natal chart, South and North node placements in the natal chart. A little overview with these. Mercury is how you think and communicate, um, you know, perceive things in your environment, how you learn. Mars is how you assert yourself, your male energy, your masculine energy. It's what drives you and what fuels you and what um, arouses you and, you know, how you react to things. Saturn is um, what your challenges are, um, any kind of limitations that have been placed upon you. Um, it also deals with health problems, um, any kind of health challenges, and, you know, really um, your purpose of what you came here to become the master of and be really disciplined at and work hard at to become um, the um, master of and sort of the karma that you need to overcome as well. And then the south and north node, you know, there are two points on the, you know, the lunar nodes, the south node of the moon is what you're moving away from. It's old patterns and, you know, an old, you know, old stories and old sort of, you know, baggage that you're carrying that you need to um, release in this lifetime in terms of the negative traits of the south node because we're not leaving that behind. We are merely moving into the north node, um, which is, um, you know, our dharma, um, you know, our destiny, um, what we need to move towards to find greater happiness, fulfillment, and um, meaning, you know, what our soul is kind of calling us to um, move into. And so another name for these two placements is um, Rahu, um, which is the North Node, K2, which is the South Node. And I sort of made up a term, you lose something, you've k to something, you gain something, you Rahu something. So I find that, um, you know, that there's a synchronicity uh, and there's a tie-in with those words and those meanings on correlating that. And then the south node um, is, you know, what you need to um, uh, release. It's your early life, your early childhood. You're very comfortable. It's very familiar here in the south node. But when you stay in that south node and, you know, you'll feel like you're coming up against a wall and, you know, something is not serving you and, um, and you need to um, let go of it and move into something new, which is your north node. So I just wanted to clarify what those placements are. These nodes travel retrograde. They're exactly opposite each other. So if you had your north node in Scorpio, then opposite that would be your south node in Taurus, um, as just an example. So uh, I just wanted to, you know, remind you of this. Please go to the poll and um, cast your vote um, for what you want, um, for which series you want. And that's all for now. Bye, everybody.